Today we're on a topic that I just learned about and thought you might want to as well. And although I believe this was created around the 1950s or 60s, we're all just kind of going, why did it take off? In fact, I think that's a question I'm going to get today and find out why it didn't. So friction stir welding. Have you heard of it before? It's inside. It's welding inside the machine. I've done my different stick weldings. I've done my, my well, I got my stick stuck. I was terrible at welding. So shout out to all you welders out there as well. But now the machine, we can do it inside the machine. And I have so many questions. So if you have questions, just like I do, if you're learning, just like I am, we got the man to answer all of our questions today. You got to shake my hand before I get nervous about it. There it is. He's finally doing it. He said, okay, we can do this. But before we get inside the machine to show you the details, we got to show you from the beginning. So let's head over to these parts right here and describe exactly what this friction stir welding is. Yes, it's a pretty young technology. Uh, and we will show you today how we will weld those two pieces together in this machine. We will not use any arc welding, any other technology which you know. We will do it by very simply way, by this tool. That doesn't even seem like it makes... It okay, I'm trying <laughs> to wrap my mind around this. How does this tool create welding? Are you just, are you just heating it up and melting the metal? How does this work? Uh, at the end, it's very simple. This tool is a key component of the entire process because uh, it makes heating by very simple friction. Friction, which is, we, we know it every day because we can uh, walk because without, <laughs> you know, I can touch you. It means it's a steering here. Everywhere is steering and by the steering, we create the heat which is necessary to heat up the material up to the plasticity state. When the material is plasticized, we can start to mix this material together and then we create very, very strong weld. Speaking of strong welds, I know we have a warm piece right there. Don't touch that one, my friends. <laughs> but we have a piece that shows the inside of what the capabilities are when it comes to strength, right? So I see some welds here. And this is not exact, of course, how I would picture my bad beads when I'm doing a stick welding. But what looks like in here, this is extra strength. Would you mind describing what's happening in this process before we look inside the machine? Can we do that? I can demonstrate. Uh, we have uh, two pieces which will be assembled together and we will... Ah, ready. There you go. We put it to the machine and we will weld it also, okay? And this is what it turns out like. Yes, this is uh, ready after welding, cut it and we can show where the, the mm, place when the weld was done, but we don't see any... Uh, it's a structure I don't see any separation or, in the, in the it looks like one piece to me. Yes, because it's very uh, precisely mixed together. Before we head into the machine, I got to know what industries is this thriving in and why hasn't this taken off since it was originally invented? I know you want to ask me that question, but where does this work best and how is it working best? Uh, you know, today uh, there's an era of electricity, uh, mobiles, hybrids. All of them needs a battery and the battery housing, the most of the battery housing is produced with a friction steel welding. It means uh, usually you can see the result of this technology nearly every day, everywhere. And the results are there, but we're creating the awareness of friction stir welding. So we know we can do it inside the CNC machine. Let's head inside the CNC machine, yeah. shall we? And, and can we can we put this into action? Are we allowed to walk in while it's moving? That kind of, sounds kind of scary to me. Uh, no, no, uh, you don't be afraid. Uh, <laughs> any uh, pollution or uh, arcs uh, on a, every overheating or something like this. It's what about my lungs? Uh, don't worry, because uh, you will practically smell nothing because uh, there is no pollution. You sound like Bob Marley. Don't worry, everything's going to be all right. Yes. That's what it sounds like. So let's invite the audience in to take a look at what you have going on in here. There looks like a very familiar part. Uh, would you mind describing, because uh, this is the part we started with, and that's the one I burnt my hand on. Yes. Uh, 
uh, we demonstrate uh, straight weld uh, with the, these two aluminium parts. Uh, what is very important, what I want to show you, that after we will finish welding, we can touch it because this will be not overheated as you maybe have an idea. That is exactly how I think of welding uh, because I do think of fire no. going toward a piece of metal no, no, no. and melting it in no, no, order no, no. to make it work, right? No, this no, is no. not the way anymore. Really, you can uh, be, uh, you can be believe me that uh, everything will be all right. When I, <laughs> I like that way to bring it back around. When I choose to do welding inside of my machine, and whether currently the situation or the future concept and the direction is going, is my machine 100% dedicated to the welding? Uh, of course, depends uh, about your expectations. Depends how long your welds will be, how big your welds will be, how often, how many pieces will you uh, weld. It means there are many factors, but generally you can weld, you can make small welding on uh, each machines. But with a 3 mil, uh, we can make a machine directly adopted for this technology and we can uh, monitor all the process very precisely. But this is the because we know how to do it. Thank you for knowing how to do it. <laughs> is this a special partnership between you guys and Tree Mill and you're constantly coming together to to make this more known, to bring more awareness and to get more done inside the machine. I was speaking with Andrea and she said, we're working on the five axis side. We're currently on three axis, but we continue to, to push the envelope to do more. Yeah, because uh, our R&D team and the three mil R&D team already prepared a technical solution for this technology. Uh, it needs some uh, adaptation of a uh, spindle, needs some reinforcement, uh, we need to install some uh, sensors to monitor uh, some forces and uh, of course not just monitor but to work with the uh, data which we collect to guarantee the quality and stability of the process. If, and I'm sure that there are, but if I have more curiosities about this technology, where can I find out more about your company? Where can I do some research and really dive into the details of would this work for me? Do you have a website or a home address or a social security number? You guys didn't even laugh at all. I was waiting for you to capture something. Don't give them the personal stuff. Do not no, do that. No, no. But maybe a web address or social media where we can find of you. Of course, www.basam.sk. Uh, in a product uh, lines, we have some information about friction steel welding. Very nice new video with a very good content, uh, which describe the process, which describe the, all those things which we speak uh, right now. And then, uh, of course, uh, we have some uh, extra uh, partners, not just Trimil. We collaborate with the uh, Slovak Technical University, which is very important for us because those uh, researchers are very, very good high level specialists in this area. And the result is here because uh, innovative technology and a company like Massam and Trimil all in a red. And uh, yeah, we like it. <laughs> so www.masam.sk. Yes, correct. Right. Well, my friend, I learned something today. I love when I get to learn something. I hope you guys and gals out there have as well. It's important to learn every day. If this might be something you want to consider, if you're working in fabrication in the welding world, these guys can give you a hand. It's worth reaching out. This is, this is something that is continually evolving and creating awareness for. Yeah, give them a look. This guy's amazing. Absolutely worth <laughs> your time. Thank you all for watching. We do appreciate it. We'll see you soon.